I flew all the way to Tokyo to buy an Apple Lucky bag, a Japanese New Year tradition filled with mystery tech worth anything from pennies to thousands. So here's how I got mine, and I couldn't believe what I found inside. All right, guys, so we're in Akihabara, which is in Tokyo, Japan. This is the electronics district. You were telling me, Norm, in Japan, they call them fukubukuro. Okay. They are known as the lucky bags. They're really popular at the end of the year. And although we're just outside of that, there's a chance that we could still find them. I believe that you can get one with an iPhone. Legend has it, there might just be a spot. I may have done some pre-scouting. Okay. It might be possible, but we'll actually have to dude, go in search to find out. I want the lucky bag, dude. Let's go try <laughs> to find one. So bad coming out of you, and I don't know why. Okay, let's go. <laughs> also, Luke Miani's here. Do you see Luke Miani? Yeah, hi. He's gonna help me find iPhones. I know which ones they are. There used to be a lot of good Apple stores during the past two years or so. Most of them have closed down. There's one pretty good one here. I think you might I see it. Oh, I see it. Oh, my God. There's so many iPhones. No here. There's a lucky bag. There's two lucky bags. What does this say? What's inside? Do we know? This one here says it has Shimpin Small Hole. There's no way there's actually that. that. That can't be the number of them. It says fresh smartphone, brand new smartphone. If I'm reading this correctly, it says three smartphones. How much is that? Uh, that's about a grand American, give or take. There's no way there's three smartphones in there. They're gonna be like some sh Sam, listen to me. Sam, listen to me. See my fan. You have to do it. Pull up. Shinpin Smaho te. Kore te. Sandai mo hai te ruti mi. There's three. What's in the one behind it? This one here. You've got the two junk smartphones. They're, they're, they're kind of messed up, scratched up screens and stuff like that. Anything that's called junk in Japan doesn't necessarily mean it's garbage. It just means it's not guaranteed to work. Mm. Whereas this is three brand new smartphones and accessories. Well, we know it's not going to be an iPhone. You don't know that. Uh, three iPhones for a thousand dollars? That doesn't be real. They'd be, they be having the sale. Can we ask if there's an iPhone? Can we ask I think that kind of spoils the surprise. Well, but if, there, if I know there's an iPhone, I'll get it. We talked about the iPhone, same one than there. So he said that the, the gentleman who put them together is upstairs. 10 seconds later. So I got some good news. This here is going to be all Android. It's going it. to be like a variety yeah, of them, that including Japanese stuff. However, in this one, there is an Apple product in here, but smashed up screen. Mm. We Does this count? This. So we can fix it. It's $100. All right, we're taking the hundred dollar happy bag. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. All right, y'all. We did it. On to the next shop. Only like twelve hundred. Thank, Thank you. You too. Now jumping in real quick, I just want to tell you about today's sponsor, which is Raid Shadow Legends, one of my favorite games on my phone. Raid is the iconic iPhone game with console quality graphics, hundreds of unique champions, and endless content delivered in new updates every month, and millions of players to adventure with. And getting started is super easy with four champions to pick from. I'll tell you which one is my favorite. You've got Gallic Up First, which is an absolutely speedy boy and is the most useful in Dungeons. El Hain, which is a critical hit monster that deals huge damage to opponents. Kale has different poisons and strong area of effect damage for attacking multiple enemies at once. And Athol, my favorite, is great in the arena for PvP as she gains extra turns. The extra turns is just so much fun. And there are always fun events happening in Raid 2, like the Valentine's Day event that's happening right now. Just download the game, get your player ID, and then head to raidlovequest.plarium.com and play one of the Valentine's themed minigames for a chance to win some fantastic in-game and real-life prizes, including Valentine's Day themed Raid Champions, and even an Amazon gift card worth up to $1,000. And if you haven't started playing Raid yet, click my link in the description or scan my QR code here on the screen. You'll get unique bonuses worth $35, including the free Epic Champion Jotun and other useful stuff. So super big thank you to Raid for sponsoring today's video. Check out the link or the QR code again. Now, back to the video. Okay, we're back with the happy bag. It's It's got mystery items inside. This is supposed to have like a broken phone? Two broken phones, two and some accessories. Now for the, what, 10, 15 years that I've lived in Japan, I've yeah. never once bought a lucky oh, bag. This You're is probably, probably smart. It feels like gambling. It is. So I figured I'd, <laughs> I'd leave that to Sam. Yeah, I'm so excited for this. This is quite literally something that I've always wanted to get. And in the past, I think Apple has like minimally done a special custom Apple bag. This is a third party one, but there's mystery. So let's bend it over. Go ahead and <laughs> open it up. <laughs> 
Oh. I'm a little nervous. Oh. Okay, I'm gonna pull. I'm gonna pull it out one by one. Oh my god! Yo, <laughs> Whoa, USB-A a USB C to USB C cable, guys. Is I have it even brand name. No, it's not. <laughs> I've always wanted one of these. You paid how much for this? Eighteen thousand eight hundred eighty yen. Okay, so oh, you okay. paid a hundred and forty-seven dollars. One hundred fifty dollars for, for the happy bag. This is off to a great start here with the cable. I'm a little nervous you're gonna get a phone and it's just gonna be shattered. Next up we have the aluminum alloy stand to hold my iPhone 10. This is also about 30 cent street value. That's if that's see. what's in the box too. Look at that. It comes oh. in a it's canvas satchel. Okay, this is actually, no, this is. That's like $3 street value. This is like gonna cut me. Probably should get another tennis shot. Three out of 10. <laughs> yeah, okay. Starting to feel a little scammed here with my happy bag. Not feeling super happy. You're looking at me like I recommended it. There's okay. a reason I don't buy them. All right, I think we're down to the last two items. That's it. Hold on, we got another small one. Oh, an actual official USB-A. Wow. Two lightning cable. Oh, wow. That's worth 40 Four to cents. 50 cents <laughs> yeah. street value. We almost have a dollar of value. Okay, I feel two devices wrapped in plastic here. Okay. I'm gonna grab the first one. This first one... That is... It looks like an iPhone 8. It says it's an... I oh. Smashy oh, boy. Oh, dear. Oh, no. Smashy boy. Oh. oh I took a hit. So this Mismatched looks like... Mismatched SIM tray. Yeah. Okay, so this one's quite interesting. This is an iPhone 8 64 gig, which actually is like... Not hor for $150? That's actually not horrible. I feel like we could get the if screen you fixed. Fix it. Does it for does cheap. it turn on? Good thing we have a cable that we just got to uh to try it out. Do we at least get the battery logo? Please. Please tell me my 150 was not. Oh, it oh. turns on! That's amazing. Now what's getting me is like, I would say that that's $150 of value. I'm actually, I'm actually pretty happy with that. I think I bought the iPhone for like if you repair the screen what you're yourself. forgetting is I've not got just one device. I apparently have what, what looks to be another phone. Oh, what that's is an this? Android of some kind? It's very square. This is a it's a Sony phone. Now, this is it's, probably... It's an Xperia oh, something or other. I don't think it's that old either. It's got a 23 megapixel uh, main sensor. I mean, I gotta be honest, for Android phones, like, I don't it's mind It's pretty this minimal. One. It's pretty plain. We gotta find out which phone it is to see if it's actually worth money. SOV32. It's an Xperia. Yeah. It's a Z5. They're selling for about $40. Does uh, it work? Well, we gotta plug it in. Let's see, does she turn on? Oh, I see a red. Yo, oh, instantly. it just turns on. The iPhone is in cold, cold storage mode. Storage oh, mode. it's booted. iPhone 8 is oh, booted. Oh. The iPhone 8. Is no, it sim locked? A, it's a fully working phone. Uh, it just says searching. So I don't think it's, I don't think it's sim locked. Okay, so I've done a little research. Okay. I think you did pretty okay. I don't think you're like ahead, obviously. But from looking around, it okay. looks like people are selling iPhone 8s for around 17, 18,000 yen. You paid 18,8 for the bag and you have a damaged screen. So given that it would cost you about 30 to 40 dollars to fix the screen and you have a 30 to 40 dollar phone in the bag, mm. I'd say you're about break even. And I had fun because yeah. I got to open a happy bag in Japan. You got a happy bag. And I, I will say, I feel pretty happy. Well, I, I, I was trying to figure out why you were calling it happy bag the yeah. whole time. Yeah. Because I'm reading this, which <laughs> literally says Fukubukuro lucky bag. I'm like, where is this happy bag stuff coming? <laughs> the whole time, I'm like, do you think it's a happy meal? Like, what is this? It's <laughs> yeah, not a hamburger. <laughs> it says happy bag. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Would you buy a happy bag after this experience? Should we go back tomorrow and get the thousand dollar happy bag? If your current reaction is representative of anything, I would go ahead and say save your money. <laughs> <laughs> okay, fair enough. Guys, check out Tokyo Lens. Check out, don't check out Lugmiani, he sucks. I did, and I, uh, I want to thank you guys for watching this video. And this concludes my Japan content. Thanks for I wanted to steal your glasses. No, I'm going to Japan. Yes, no.